Oscar Romeo 4, India, Sierra, Sierra. This is for Uniform Man, India, Tango Uniform. For Uniform Man, India, Tango Uniform. Calling Oscar Romeo 4, India, Sierra, Sierra. This is for Uniform Man, India, Tango Uniform. Calling and listening. Over. Oscar Romeo 4, India, Sierra, Sierra. Oscar Romeo 4, India, Sierra, Sierra. This is for Uniform 1, India, Tango Uniform. For Uniform 1, India, Tango Uniform. Calling. This is for Uniform 1, India, Tango Uniform. Calling and listening. Over. Oscar Romeo 4, India, Sierra, Sierra. This is for Uniform 1, India, Tango Uniform. Hello, Greg. Uh, very nice to hear you. You are a bit in the noise, but I think the signal will improve as you take over the orbit. So I give the mic back to you to establish the contact, and then we pass it uh, on to the students. Or for ISS, for you and ITU. Okay, I agree. There is a little bit of background noise, but you're sounding better and better. So let's go ahead and start with the students. Good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, uh, you are also 5-9 at ITU headquarters at Geneva. Operator is Hamadun, HB9, EHT. Over. Over. You are also 5-9 at the ITU headquarters. Operator Hamadun, Echo Hotel Tango. Over. Over. Now I think it is better. Can we stay a bit here? Uh, Greg, this is for you and ITU. Let's try once more on this channel before we switch on over. Yeah, for you and ITU here uh, returning. We, we copy you very well. Do you copy us now? Oscar Romeo 4, India, Sierra, Sierra, 4 u one ITU. Let's switch to the backup channel, over. Yeah, I hear you now, I hear you. This is 4 u one ITU, do you hear me, over? Oil 4 ISS, 4 u one ITU, do you copy us now? Okay, let's go on. My name is Gaela. Do mobile phones work in space? Over. Hey, Gaela, I hear you very well. And mobile phones do not work in space. <laughs> but I do have a tablet up here. Although it can't, it's weightless. I can't figure out which way is up or down. So sometimes the screen flips around on me and I have to Come take it to get it in the right orientation. Over. My name is Adriano. How do you wash yourself on the ESS? Over. Hello, my name is Edward. Can you create a gravitational field on the ISS as you'd be on Earth? Over. No, not really. Every once in a while, we use our engines to raise our orbit just a little bit. And when we turn those engines on, we feel a tiny bit of friction, and that's it. Over. My name is Santiago. What were your motivations to become an astronaut? Over. Hi, Santiago. Well, I always loved flying. I became a pilot uh, in the United States. And uh, I just wanted to go as far as humanly possible, so I joined the astronaut board. Over. Hello, my name's Anna. Can you see the Great Wall of China from where you are? Over. Hi, Anna. I cannot see it. I, I've looked for it once or twice, but it's always been cloudy. And uh, my crewmate, uh, German astronaut Alex Gerst, and I, we're going to look for it this weekend because we both want to take a picture of it. Over. Hi, my name is Cecilia. Do you feel isolated in space? Over. Hi, my name's Gabrielle. At what speed are you traveling right now? Over. We're going 28,000 kilometers per hour, so we only have nine minutes as we fly over your school there, and then I'll be over the horizon. Over. Hi, my name is Alina. Are there any women with you at the ISS? Over. Uh, right now, I'm 
now there's only three of us up here, one Russian, one German, and myself from the United States. Uh, but next week, a new spaceship will dock, and we will get three new folks, and one of them is a Russian woman named Yelena Sirova. We're really excited to have her up here with us. Over. Hi, my name is Sebastian. What do you do in your free time? Over. Hey, Sebastian. We don't get a whole lot of free time, but we do get some time off on the weekends, and I try to talk to my family if I can. And uh, usually, though, we spend our free time just goofing around in weightlessness or the best, looking out the window back at the earth. Whether it's day or night, it's always a beautiful sight. Over. Hi, my name is Alejandro. How do you come back to Earth after a mission? Over. So after our mission, we climb into our, our Soyuz spaceship, which is built in Russia, it's very tiny. It can only fit three people, and just barely you have to kind of curl up to fit inside of it. And then we will undock from the space station, we'll fire our engines, just a little bit of a braking uh, burn, and then in about an hour we'll be back on Earth. Over. Hi, my name is Antoine. How long have you already been in space? Over. Well, for ISR, this is 41 ITU. We are getting to the end of the window, unfortunately. Let's try once more. Okay, uh, sorry to hear that. I wish I could have gotten some more of the questions. Over. Hi, my name is Hugo. What is the effective absence of gravity on your body? Over. Well, overall, it's actually really fun. The effect on my body is my bones lose their density and my blood changes. So I do a lot of countermeasures to try to prevent that from happening. Over. Hi, my name is Morgan. How do you communicate with your family? Over. Hi, my name is Anastasia. Do you talk also with radio amateurs only with schools? Over. Okay, Greg, we can, we can barely copy you now. Get to once more. My name, my name is Diane. Can you see the ozone layer on the Earth? Over. Hi, my name is Martin. What do you feel while you're seeing sunrises and the sunset more than once per day? Over. Okay, Greg, uh, the old Scaromio 4 India Sierra Sierra, this is 41 ITU. I think we have to conclude. Uh, we, you are really getting to the horizon here. Thank you very much for this great contact, and uh, probably we'll have another one to complete with the context. 73s, and uh, all the best uh, from all the crew here. Bye bye.